What's up, dudes? Welcome back. My name is Chuck. This is Leah, my shop dog. Uh, good to have her back in the videos. Um, it's not quite as cold today, so she won't shiver her little buns off out here in the garage. Um, but today we're going to do a special video. Uh, I was nominated. Uh, there's a thing going around on the internet, on the YouTubes, uh, where basically people are telling you 10 things that they hate about their car. Um, I was nominated by Hawkeye STI Guy's channel. I appreciate it. Some of you guys are probably from his channel. Thanks for visiting. And uh, hopefully you found some stuff that's enjoyable. Maybe some cool track project stuff. Maybe you just like Boston Terriers. Uh, whatever. Glad to have you. Hope you stick around. So uh, today we're going to talk about 10 things I hate about my E36 M3. Um, move your head. Move your head. And yes, I know. Um, basically, I was going to do a video on ten, five things I hate about the M3 and five things I hate about the WRX, but uh, we'll talk about a little bit later why I can't talk about the WRX right now. Okay? Okay, let's get started. So we're actually gonna start right here in the interior of the car. This is a sunroof car. If you can see this, uh, it's not a plastic panel. There's like a big cartridge up in the ceiling here that slides back. Um, yeah, this thing doesn't like to close, but basically it doesn't work. And on top of the fact that it doesn't work, uh, it takes away headroom, and I'm a tall person, and this is going to be a track car, so I want my headroom. Number one. Number two. I know this is a track project, but uh, we do have a radio, we do have speakers, but they're not connected. Nothing from this radio goes to the speakers, so I can kick this volume up, you know, as loud as this thing will go, and guess what? We got nothing. There's no copyright infringement here because there is no music playing in this car. Number three, that E36 glove box sag. So this thing rattles like crazy. You hear that? Well, this car's suspension is insanely stiff. <clears throat> and this fun little thing, anytime you hit a bump, that's what you get. It's fantastic. This should be, you know, up kind of flush like that common problem with E36s, but it's annoying. All right, so I've shown you dudes this before, but uh, this is the car in neutral. This is the car in first gear. Neutral. First gear. It's uh, got a ton of bushing travel on this uh, shifter. Uh, we're gonna fix that soon, promise. This, my friends, is a cup holder. That's what a cup holder should look like on an E36. I'm gonna show you another cup holder that my uh, previous owner decided to modify. Oh yeah, that sweet, sweet amber glow. The problem with this uh, is that those two little LEDs on the bottom are not flush with the bottom. They sit up, uh, you know, half inch, quarter of inch or whatever into the cup holder, which means if you try to put a cup in here, it's useless because the cup tilts sideways. There's no LEDs on this side, there's LEDs on that side. The cup's like leaning backwards. Uh, if it's like a water bottle or whatever, I guess it's okay, but um, it doesn't have a closed lid on it. You know, you hit up Taco Bell or whatever. Sweet tea splashing all over the car. It ain't cool. I need to rip that out. All right, so this is a door panel on an E36, right? Um, the door panels on E36s are notoriously horrible. They uh, like delaminate or whatever you want to call it. Basically the leather that's on them peels off of the door card itself. I'll show you an example of that. Uh, if you look right here, I haven't messed with this door. This is basically one that, that's uh, how it came to me. See all this like floppy leather? It's horrible. It's like peeling off. It's a race car, so these are probably get pulled off eventually. But for now, this freaking stuff annoys me horribly. And guess what? This rattles too. The clips underneath here are really terrible and basically they connect with this little pocket here. It's horrible. You gotta take the whole door panel off to, to fix them and the pain in the butt. Basically the same thing happens to the uh, rear door panels here. Let me get this to focus. So I actually gl Gorilla glued this back on but this whole panel here had like separated out. It was like an inch or two of space here, just floppy. Um, so I look down the side there. See how like horrible that looks. That's probably coming out for the roll cage too, but it's just annoying. Just annoying. I know it's 20 years old, but I hate it. All right, this one may be really hard to see, but 
can you see this dent right here? Looks pretty small on camera, I guess, but this is a dent. And over here is the exact same dent. Uh, where am I? Right here. It's very subtle, very small, but what that is, is basically uh, this car sitting on coilovers. Coilovers have been replaced. Uh, there's basically three prongs that like stick up up on the top of the coilover. Somebody like slammed the hood. I don't know if it was in celebration after installing the coilovers or uh, just complete disgust or anger with trying to fix something on the engine or something, but they slammed the hood and one of the uh, uh, coilover bolts on each side poked basically upward through the bottom of the hood. And now I have those two wonderful little dents. Um, I've just thought about maybe like putting some like heat extractors or something if you want to call them that um, just to kind of get rid of that or maybe just try to tap it back down with a hammer I'm not sure but it does annoy me it makes the car look a little more shoddy all right can you guys see this right here this is actually missing paint or kind of scuffed up scratch paint the car is wet so it doesn't look quite as bad as it usually does but this is paint that basically when the uh, old sunroof pops down and goes into the car. I mentioned the sunroof cartridge doesn't really work anymore. Uh, well, last time it got sucked in, ripped some paint off. I hate it, I hate it. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this on camera. There's another dent right here and one right here. And guess what? They're the perfect spacing to match up to that stupid creeper I bought. Uh, the creeper was laying up against the wall and fell over both wheels landed right on this, basically this strip of uh, metal here, uh, which is really annoying to replace. Uh, I can't, you can't just like pop it off and get behind it and pop the dents out. So I'm now rocking the double back indentation. Uh, and yeah, E36 just got back dimples now. Oh yeah. All right, let's finish up here on the back. This is the exhaust on the car, as you can see. This is an active Auto Works tuning exhaust. It's a pretty decent exhaust, kind of quiet, but the thing I hate about it, uh, if you look closely here, this should look like this the whole way around. It should look like this. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little better for you. Basically, should have been finished. Uh, looks like it's just kind of like rotted out or something, and the, the ends of the pipes where it kind of rolls over and touches the other pipe are gone. So it looks a tiny bit haggard. Um, it's all right. The exhaust, you know, is stainless and doesn't have any holes in it anywhere else. So I'm all right with it. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, but yeah, that ain't cool. So yeah, so overall that was uh, 10 things that I don't like or I hate about this car. Really, it's not that big, <laughs> big of a deal. Most of it, um, it is going to be a track car. So some of it will be taken care of once I, you know, rip door panels off and do that sort of thing. Speaking of which, the car is going in next Friday, January 15th, uh, to the shop to start get the cage put in. So like we talked about before, the rear cage section is going to be put in. What that means is as soon as we're done here, I need to go film another video because I got to basically rip out a lot of the interior to give them room to do the cage. Um, the seat's got to come out. Uh, driver's seat has to stay in, obviously, because I have to sit in it. And the back, basically the back seat's coming out, the headliner's coming out because they're going to pull the sunroof cartridge and weld it closed for me. Uh, what else? What else back here? Um, the carpet section, I think the, the side panels. Um, yeah, I think that's basically roughly it. But that's the next video you'll probably see is me prepping the car to get the cage put in <clears throat> and then the car will be gone for I think they said less than a week so I'll you know show you a video of the cage when the cage when the car gets back and start getting to work on the rest of the track prep stuff um, speaking of the WRX we talked about that earlier um, just give you a little teaser on the way out how about that a little teaser it'll be fun it's new it's exciting uh, similar in some ways, but very different in others. So I uh, hope you like the addition of a new vehicle on the channel. It's a new toy, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's actually parked right here, but yeah, we'll check that out in a later video too. See you next time. Bye-bye!